Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talk about where the market has gone so far this past week and where we think the market's going in the coming week. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. And if you tried that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. If you're not profitable yet, then I, I know you will be over time. You just need to set a trading plan, set rules, backtest strategies, go through a lot of lessons, take a lot of losses, and over time, you'll be more and more profitable. So stick with it. And without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. And I was in a short at an average of about 15,660. I had to take some off once we broke the highs and got above the uh, 15,900 area. So because I had to take some off, my average is actually 15,560. I'm currently targeting the 15,300s. Uh, there's this fair, fair value gap drawn here. And I have, there's obviously another fair value gap from about 15,500 up to 15,700. I think we're gonna pull back to these areas. We're to, in, in this video, we're gonna go over the reasons why we're gonna pull back. So as you can see, obviously we had a little pullback consolidation and then big breakout. And uh, we had rough earnings on Netflix and Tesla. And because of that, we're seeing some weakness in the pre-market on NASDAQ right now. ES has been holding up really strong. I said this in previous videos that there's no real short opportunity on ES or NASDAQ because we've just been going straight up, but even more so on ES because it's just been extremely bullish and the, the pullbacks are so little. However, we're going into tech earnings and I do see us pulling back to about 15,400, this fair value gap before continuing higher. As you can see, there's a lot of support here around that 15,400 area. ES, we could definitely pull back to about 4,500, but I don't think we're gonna get down to this area at 4460. It's possible for sure. That would be about a 3% pullback from the highs on ES. And then on NASDAQ, looking at a, definitely about a 3%, maybe 4% pullback down to 15,400 before continuing higher. And reasons why I'm seeing this is because the VIX bottomed and is pushing up. As you can see for the whole month, the VIX has just been bottomed as we've been going higher. So let's just go ahead and take a look at SPX and overlay the VIX. What you'll see is we've been trending higher on SPX. Uh, basically we put in a bottom uh, around June 26th and the VIX has been going sideways or up while SPX since that date has been going straight up. So whenever you see VIX going higher while the market is going higher, it's a clear warning sign that we're near a top and there's a correction coming. And uh, basically we've been consolidating with the VIX for a month while S&P 500 went up uh, a lot. So yeah, you know, definitely expect about a 3% correction on uh, NASDAQ, maybe 3% correction on ES. Again, just pulling us down to about 4,500 on ES and NASDAQ just to, to about 15,300. Again, on DXY, last video I said that I think we bottomed and we did, we hit the alert 99.6, boom, been pushing up ever since. And again, recently we bought on the dollar, but we still went a little higher on NASDAQ. So another warning sign when the dollar bottoms and pushes up, but NASDAQ or S&P 500 don't push up yet, there can be a delayed sell-off where later on we see weakness for NASDAQ as the dollar continues to push higher. So remember, you know, typically dollar and NASDAQ are inverse of each other. If the dollar goes up, NASDAQ goes down and vice versa. So if we think we found a major bottom in the dollar, then it's logical to assume we might see weakness for the NASDAQ. Same idea with the 10 year. Typically when the 10 year goes up, NASDAQ goes down. Maybe we found a bottom on the 10 year here and we're starting to push back up again. If so, we can see more weakness for the NASDAQ. Based on the seasonality for pre-election years, we're expected to top in the middle of July and then expected to sell down into about early August. I went over this video I'll link it up in the cards, the full seasonality, but basically expected to go down until about the first week of August and then kind of chop around in a range from the beginning of August until October. And the range is typically going to be probably about between 15,000 and 16,000 on the NASDAQ, just chop around there from beginning of August into October. And then essentially from November into the end of the year, trend back up and basically go to new highs on the NASDAQ. But that's just seasonality, that's not the end all be all. We're gonna trade the price action. And right now I believe 
we need to come down to this support here to the left, about 15,400, 15,500, before potentially trying to push back up. So we'll just be watching this, and uh, I'm currently in a short on NASDAQ, like I said, and I am looking for us to trade into this fair value gap before I start to look for longs again. Intraday, I'll be looking for longs still on the using the three minute chart. The bias is still longs because we haven't broken any swing lows yet, obviously, uh, typically, you could say once we break 15,650, then intraday, we could start to look for shorts because we finally broke a swing low. But right now, from left to right, we just have higher swing lows. Hope you have an awesome trading day. Look over my next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you in the next video.